if you're having any issues with Lee and Lee's fans, especially the LCD versions of the fans, and they're not displaying properly, and instead you want your PC to work properly and look nice, then stick with me because I'm going to show you a couple of tips that might help. One of them is that L Connect 3 might not be on the latest version. You can see your current version number down in the bottom left, but if you click on settings and then the update tab and then check it'll tell you that you've got the latest version, perhaps, even though it isn't actually. If you go over to the Lee and Lee website, you'll see there's a beta version available. But also in the change log, it shows that there are multiple newer versions past the one I'm currently running. So click to download the latest version of L-Connect, then uninstall the previous version by hitting the Start menu and then searching for Add Remove Programs. You want to make sure you uninstall the current version of L-Connect from your system so that when you install the new one, they don't run alongside each other, which can happen. And this just makes sure you've got a clean install that works properly. So fully remove that and then install the new version of L-Connect. And I'd recommend pinning it to the taskbar for easy access as well while you're there. Then you can launch it, and in there what you'll find is if you go to the settings section and then click on the firmware tab, hopefully you'll see firmware updates listed for your relevant fans. You can see that I've got a new version available here to download. If you don't see this, you can head over to the Lee & Lee website, and at the top you'll see there's a firmware local update section here. And from the drop down in there, you can find the correct file for your specific fans, whether it's the TLLCD, the SLLCD, or other versions of the fans. Download that, and then you head back over to L-Connect, click on the local update button, select the relevant file that you've just downloaded from your downloads folder, and then open that and run it. And that should hopefully update things. And you should then find that the screen's working properly and maybe your fans are now functioning as expected. If they're still not working properly and you've got them connected to the motherboard, there are a couple of other things that you can try instead. So these fans are connected to the system fan headers. In the BIOS, you want to find those relevant headers in there and then go into the fan power control section and set them to PWM mode. Alternatively, I'd highly recommend using the SATA power adapter that came with the fans in the triple pack and just connect the fan power connector to this instead. It ensures they get maximum power and ensure any USB connections from the fans are connected to the motherboard and then hopefully you'll end up with a system that actually works properly. If you want some more tips, check out the full video that I've also done, which goes into a lot more depth.